Okay, hey everybody, and welcome back to Mission Impact. If this is your first time catching us, um, my name is Tracy V. Allen. I'm the owner of um, Impactors Management Group, and I'm here with. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I am owner of Ty Boone Enterprises. I work mostly with nonprofit organizations, helping them to move from startup and struggle to sustainability and success. All right. So today, we're going to be talking about giving. Tuesday. It is that time of the year. It's giving season. That's what I like to call this time of the year, right? Mm -hmm. It's giving season. We're in November and giving Tuesday is right around the corner. And most charities, um, charitable organizations are gearing up to see how much of your money they can get, right, during this Giving Tuesday um, season. Um, so that's kind of what we're going to be talking about today. So, Ty, you want to start? Yeah. You know, I have a love-hate relationship with Giving Tuesday. So I'm going to go ahead and put that out there really quickly, right? Um it's fun, you know, like Tracy said, this is the tis the season to be jolly and people are giving and you have all these, you know, everybody's heart is full with compassion and hope and love and charity and they people want to support you. Plus, we're going into the end of the year and folks who still got a couple of dollars that they need to, to, to you know, to, to run off mm -hmm. or, or want to throw them at you at this time of the year. Um, the reason, and that's the love part of it, right? I'm going to talk about the hate part of this love -hate relationship. Um, a lot of organizations, Tracy, um, you know, are not ready for giving to today. You know, um, my, my, my problem or my concern with, with those organizations is that we have, you know, what, 10 months before November. And for a lot of organizations, we don't see them until November. Mm -hmm. Nobody shows up until giving to today. And then give Tuesday comes around and they're like, give to me. This is what this is my organization. We need to raise the money. And folk on the giving in are kind of looking like, who are you? Like we haven't been visible. We don't know what to do. We don't know how to do it. We don't know anything about your organization or your mission. Yet you are wanting us to support something. We don't trust you. And you kind of you kind of kind of popped up out of thin air asking for support on this given Tuesday, and then these organizations are left frustrated and you know defeated because given Tuesday was not successful for them. Um, not even considering the fact that one reason why they did not build relationships and they were not visible leading up into the first Tuesday after Thanksgiving. This is the process. It's not even one of the reasons why. It is the main reason why it is not successful. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's, it is, it's wild because you, you'll see, you know, you know, platforms like Facebook, for example, there's a strategy to that whole matching thing that they do. Right. Um, you know, people kind of get lost in that. Um, Giving Tuesday is loud. You have people who are you know, established organizations out there and they're in the big, big smaller organizations. Everybody is just streaming on Giving Tuesday. Um, so, you know, what I advise a lot of folks to do, especially if they're not ready, use Giving Tuesday as an opportunity to get visible. So you don't just kind of dismiss the day because it's something that you can take advantage of, right? Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> use this as your time, especially if you've not been visible today, to get visible. To start telling your story, to let people know what you're doing, so that you can start creating this springboard next year. Um, you know, from from day to day. Yeah, I agree. Um, like you said, the main reason why a lot of people or a lot of organizations are not successful with Giving Tuesday and their year on fundraising campaigns, which we're going to talk about next, is because they have not been visible all year. People don't know who they are. You can't come out and make a lot of noise a week before, two weeks before, or the month of Giving Tuesday and expect to get a return on your investment. Okay? It goes back to the no like, and trust factor. They don't know you, so they can't like you, and they can't trust you, right? <laughs> so making yourself visible throughout the year, telling your impact stories, just building relationships, building partnerships, building, um, not treating people like ATM machines, because that's what it comes off like when you're just coming out and trying to solicit for Giving Tuesday and, uh, and the end of the year. It comes off as like, it's a money grab. And people don't like that. They don't like to be discarded. Like I like to tell people a lot, 
it's a heartstrings to purse strings. You have to tug at people's heartstrings for them to open their purse strings for you, right? So if they don't know, like, and trust you, they will never open their purse strings. And there are, like you said, a lot of noise going on during this time of year. The big organizations, the mid-sized organizations, and the small ones that are just starting or trying to you know, get their bearings in, everybody is bombarding those people who mm -hmm. they, they, they see as potential donors with all of their campaigns. You're only going to be able to stand out from the crowd if you've been positioning yourself to stand out from the crowd. That's just how it works. So okay. if you are have been sleeping on your organization all year, you haven't been doing your email campaigns, you haven't been networking, right? Because that's still important. And networking outside, in person, you have not been building the knowledge base around and the awareness around your campaign and your, I mean, your organization and the causes that you support, you're not going to be successful at these campaigns at the end of the year. Mm hmm that's it. And, you know, not to be the bearer of bad news, right? Because everybody wants, to, everybody wants to do this, but it's the process, like everything. And there's no overnight magical potions for Giving Tuesday even, right? Um, the organizations that are most highly supported, supported are those that have been showing up all year. Yeah. Those who people know, like, and trust. Those who have, you know, been visible. Those who, um, you know, are when you're in your community, not just social media, and sometimes we kind of we kind of stick to social media because we're yeah. behind the computer or you know whatever, hide behind our phones. But you know, out in your community, when people know your organization and know the work that you're that you're doing, it's not hard for them to support you. Mm -hmm. you know, for some people, the first time your community ever heard about you was Giving Tuesday. Right when you were asking for funds. We were asking for money. Mm -hmm. that's, that's not. Cool, <laughs> no, it's not. So like Ty said, if you have not been visible all year, you have not been mounting an awareness campaign all year, getting in people's faces with your organization and your impact stories, um, however you were doing that, whether it was in the form of um, soap poppers or, you know, whatever you were doing, um, use Giving Tuesday as your awareness campaign. So you start warming the audience to you. You're not really asking them for anything. You're telling them about the impact that you're making. You're showing them the inside of your organization, getting them familiar with you so that you can start developing a relationship with them, doing that no like, and trust factor um, work, right? Mm -hmm. Then come mm -hmm. January, February, March, you can start then soliciting. But you don't want to solicit before people actually know, like, and trust you. Know, like, and trust, right? And, you know, I, I tell people all the time, people will trust you with stuff before they trust you with money. Money. Right? Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, money is hard to come by. For it's hard to come people. by, yeah. Um, you know, even asking people to, to, you know, can you commit to volunteering for my organization? You know, mm -hmm. those kind of things, instead of asking them for cash, mm -hmm. um, you know, could be successful, especially if you're kind of, if you've been at least a little bit visible and people know what you're doing, but you're not in a real place where you're positioned um, to ask for major financial support. You know, think about other things that you might be able to use to help your organization move forward um, that will help to establish that level of trust to, that will spring you over. You know, I'd much rather give you a bottle of water than to give you three dollars if I don't know you. Because it, it, if you don't know how to play, I don't know you. Right. Think about, the, think about the homeless people in the Walmart parking lot, right? If I'm if I'm at Walmart and I bought a couple groceries or whatever, and somebody walks up and says I'm hungry, if I have grocery in my car, I'm usually more likely to go into my grocery bag and give them something that they could eat. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's what I, what usually happens, unless mm -hmm. I'm just you know having some other kind of day. But usually if they say, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm pulling, I'm going to pull out the water, I'm going to pull out some bread. I'm like, okay, well, let me go in here and get you something to eat or whatever, because mm -hmm. I don't know you, you know, I, I don't, I don't know you enough to even try to like you, I definitely right. don't trust you mm -hmm. and trusting you with my money when I got to go across the street to the gas station to get some gas, <laughs> I'd rather give you some stuff Yeah. right now. All right. 
So that kind of wraps it up for Giving Tuesday. If you have any questions, any comments, things, strategies that you've used that you want us to, you know, give you some feedback on, make sure to drop your link, your um, comments in the comment section below. All right. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>